We know what we're going to say, but we don't know when we're going to intimate, like, the next yeah. verse. We're just two average guys trying to do things our way. guys to a third episode of Off Topic Brothers <laughs> here with B. Juan and Dixon. Dixon right here. All right guys, we decided to take the show off into the road. Can you can you please get a zoom on that right there? Yeah, boom right there, the big old the big old sign, you see it? You We're going to go on the 8 miles. All I right guys, left to right. Actually right. Right? All right. Yeah, here we begin. Supposedly this place is haunted. Yeah, it's supposed to be haunted. We decided to take our adventure to the road. And <laughs> Ironically, we're going to talk on a topic about pretty much, is there a god or should you believe in a god? You know, let, let, I'm not saying anything. All right. What? All you right. No, 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 no. I'm not saying anything about that. All I'm saying, all I'm saying go on, go on, go on. is that we're going to talk about more than that. Okay. This is a, is a three-part third episode. Okay. Right? Did you so make sure like, you lock the doors? Yes, yes. Okay. We're good. Now we're good. Hey, Juan, you can start off in any way you would desire. Go ahead. Whatever. All right. So, I actually don't really have a starting topic. You take over, Dixon. Since we're doing something paranormal, I mean, you can talk about your All right. Things. Well, this area is supposed to be haunted, so that might be a good way to start. <laughs> Do you guys... No, no, no. Do you guys believe in things like places being haunted and like uh, spirits lingering or is it just people freaking out in the middle of the night? There is... See, uh, in American culture, we call them, you know, ghosts or you know, spirits. Uh, to me, they're the jinns, you know, or shaitans. Uh, pretty much, you know, they they exist. Um, they're real. Some are good. Some are bad. The majority of them are liars. So whatever a spirit tells you, don't believe it. They're very good at manipulating you and lying to you. And if you believe that you can control them, they're just fooling you. You can never control a jinn which you guys call a ghost. So that's my point of view. What's, uh, from your history and okay. your family, what do you call, you know, spiritual things? Well, uh, from the way, the way I was raised and the beliefs of my family it tends to be towards the spirits of the dead lingering after their, after their, uh, well, the end of their life. But the big thing, it tends to be a reason to linger, you know? Um, it could be a deep desire to watch over your family and that could cause you to remain, um, you know, Say, it costs you to remain stag stagnant and, and not being unable to move beyond that point, whether it be staying um, and watching over your family, or it being like deep anger at having died or the reason you died. Um, it could be regret, it could be sadness, it could be rage. Um, but the thing from it is that spirits are considered to be neither good nor bad. It's just simply that they um, that they're beyond our understanding that at the level that they are, we, we can't really judge them for whether being good or bad. But honestly, I don't truly, well, I have a fear of things such as ghosts and stuff like that, but I don't have that strong a belief in their existence. That's, that's my thing. It's like um, I'm hesitant on approaching the subject without truly knowing too much about it. You know how you're saying like they linger after someone's death? Well, does this car pass by? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Um, so pretty much, uh, the reason this occurs is, uh, and in this song we do. Uh, no, just checking it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. uh, you're born with a good gin and a bad gin. Pretty much, you know how like a lot of people say like there's a devil on your left and, a, and a, an angel on your right. So these gins are you guys can call ghosts. They live with you, they they know you better than you know yourself, right? And so when you die, I, f I forget exactly what happens to uh, your good, your good spirit. I, 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 I don't have the right information. But the bad gin that knows you super well can mock your voice. That knows all your per all your histories and your secrets. If, if it desires, it can mess around with your family or loom to be your, uh, your to be you after your death. Because at the end of the day, you can't escape death. It don't matter what you believe, that if you are not able to, let's say you need to do something right before you die and you die, you're not going to linger on. Your, your spirit, your bad spirit, 
may stay around just to mess around with your family if it, if it desires. Or you know how people can play with the Ouija board? That's the most likely they're gonna contact your bad chin. And I know that's a, you know, obviously not a lot of people are gonna agree what I say, but that's what really stays around, the evil side of you that knows you better than you know yourself. So you have uh, anything else to talk about? Anything you know about spiritual, you know? Well, I haven't personally had a situation in which that I've um, been faced with a spirit or, mm -hmm. or a very supernatural event. I have been in really uncomfortable situations where, like, uh, if, I'm, if I'm in a really dark place, like, uh, like my house, right, there's nobody around, I will from time to time begin hearing things that make no sense, right? Whether it being hearing the, hearing my name being called out from places that make, like, from the walls, or having, or hearing doors slam shut and opening, like, weird things like that. But I just, I, I, it unnerves me enough that I'd rather just simply believe that it, it's all in my head. I get that, but yeah. well, what I mean is like little little things like that. Is, is as far as I'm willing to um, to uh, what I say. It's, it's as far as I'm willing to tolerate before I decide to get out of there. <laughs> Honestly, like little things like that are enough to unnerve you. You know, like humans, out of sheer instinct, have the need to know and to understand because that is how we survive. So when you're faced with a position where um, there is something beyond your understanding, you will try to lay, you will try to label it, you will try to name it, you will try to give it um, some sort of reasoning. Now the thing is, if you if you're faced with a situation you don't know about, the natural response is to be afraid, like I am, because I'm not I'm not gonna stick around and assume what it is. I'm just gonna take off and you know follow my instinct to stay alive. Are you saying that we like we label spirits? I'd say so, yeah. Do you know where the word jinn comes from? Or like it der not derives, but it's it's uh, it's a very common like people there's people that actually use that word. Mm -hmm. uh, like genie, jinn. Yeah. Uh, genie, if I'm correct, there's I, I, I can't remember, but I think multiple jinns. It's like I think it's genie or I think no singular or I mean a singular jinn is genie and yeah. multiple or jinn. But you gotta think about this. If there's good in the world, there's always bad, you know? And obviously, if you wanna believe in you know, the Big Bang Theory and believe that where the Earth is in this perfect area of the of the universe in the sense that if we were too close to the sun, we would burn alive. If we were too far from the sun, we would freeze to death. You know, we're in a perfect region of the world. There's plants, there's oxygen, there's, uh, there's so much beauty. Like, like there's the miracles of life, like a bee, how a bee can fly. Yeah. So, I just say, commonly, if there's good, there must be bad. And if you think there's nothing beyond this world, I'm not saying that's sad, but you really must, you know, you, it, you know, to believe there's nothing after death, somewhat sad. Because don't you want to see your family once again? Don't you want to have pure happiness? Not, you know, the world happiness of getting high and new drugs, you know. There's have to be something beyond that, and if there's not, at least you're a good person on that, you know, trip. What is your opinion? Well, my opinion stands in that, um, you know, you could say that there's an afterlife, but what do we base it on? You know, the words of people who have come before us, but who have never, um, who have never taken that final step until uh, they can no longer speak to us. Because as you say, nobody ever escapes death. So we can only guess or assume of what awaits us on the other side based on um, on our sheer beliefs of what we've been told from what was told to us in the past and how that was passed down. Because a lot of the time, uh, your parents will explain things like death to you by telling you that the people went to a better place because you'd rather believe that they are no longer in... Um, you'd rather believe that the people are okay and that they are... Wait, Dixon. Did you put a sweater right there? Yeah. Oh, no wonder it was blocking with you. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, let us change the topic. No, 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 no. You, fine, you, you can't, you can't. Okay, I get what you're saying about your family. They tell yeah, you what to do. Oh well, yeah, but what I mean is that, um, okay, so your family tries to explain that to you, right? And you in turn will try to explain that to your own kids because death is a topic that a lot of humans will avoid, mainly because it, it makes you really begin to uh, think of question upon your own mortality 
And you know, the biggest thing that, human, that humans ever fear is the end. There is no, there is no coming back from that. It is not a choice that you get to make. It is an absolute that is beyond our humanity. Well, I get what you're saying, but I'm not talking about like you know traditions passing down to your family because you know you can like an example. I'm not even not you not not the Bible because it's a well-known fact that the Bible has been changed. You know, there's like the dead red the dead red red dead seed scrolls, which has like passage of the Bible, which is different from the Bible we have today, which is a, which is a, which is a fact. Uh, there's always an argument, which is is it Hebrew or was it Greek? Um, uh, which one was the original form? All I'm saying, in the Quran, never changed. So pretty much when people tell you something, they can only refer to a book that has never changed, you know? And as, as and, 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 and it's not like the, like Muslims came out, right? When the Quran was created, that's like, oh, that's when Islam started. Simply, the word Muslim means that someone has submission to God or Allah. So even though it's, you know, Abraham, Adam, you know, we consider those people to be Muslims. Those are our prophets. And as much as, you know, people are like, all oh, these people live for so million years, uh, not million, like maybe thousands or whatever, how long they lived, a long ago. But if you look at their life and study the kind of person they were, they're really a wholesome people. They had a good heart. But example, if a scientist, you have no idea who they are. They tell you that this is good for you. You're like, oh, he has the credentials. He must be right. You won't even second guess a scientist from what, UC Berkeley? But you a second guess a person like a prophet like oh I, that's guys I don't, I don't know him at all he's whatever you know but if you look at their life they have good morals and honestly if someone has good morals it's true to their heart and if they tell you something then they say it's not my voice it's a message I've received I can get I can understand why people won't agree with it or disagree with it but this has been miracles around the world a fun fact, you guys should Google Golden Ratio on the Earth. Very fascinating place. There's a bunch of miracles around the world. I think it's this simple. Are you going to put the effort to look for miracles, to read? Or are you just going to, I put enough effort when I was younger, and that's all I need to know. Obviously, it's a, it's a complicated, you know, every, especially when you're younger. Everyone has different religions. You can't always force people to be what you want to be. The best thing you can do show your character and the person you are and try to show them oh look, look at this miracle or look at this sign or look at this like it explains this from a long time ago you know but I do understand when you say that death is scary and people want to make it seem that it's okay to die and there's a happy ending afterwards I get your point of view but I have to say I disagree is there anything we'll talk about now to break your heart <laughs> <laughs> No, well, you know, that, that's actually a natural reaction to something like that. Usually when, you, when a person receives uh, like a very deep message, it's like, uh, it, it can result in an uncomfortable feeling that mm. they will, you know, naturally make a... Naturally make a... Make it awkward. <laughs> well, not awkward, but they, they naturally have a response in order to try and assuage their um, their cautiousness, you know. Did you see that thing? On yeah, the... did you see that blinking on the ground? I don't know yeah, that one. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was moving, though. Yeah, let's just don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was never there. Keep driving. It's getting darker and darker. Yeah, I'm sweaty. I can't, I, I can't even see down the road anymore. <laughs> you know how freaky that is? That's true. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, I want everyone to be happy. You know? Yeah. That's, no, I get that. You know? Yeah. It, it, it's like, I think when one thing when people uh, misunderstand, just because one person believes in God, like, it doesn't mean the guy is perfect or the woman's perfect. You know, we're not, I'm not better than you. I gotta improve in many things. I just don't tell you what I need to improve. And I think people are like, uh, they see someone that's religious, and if they do something wrong, they're like, look at that guy. He was religious, and he's doing worse things than I was. I don't want to follow what he was doing. Like, I'm not the face of Islam, you know? I'm not the face of the religion. You know, there's, there's people that, beyond my knowledge and beyond my teachings, very, uh, you know, desire to not follow religion, seeing their friends or their family members said they were religious, and then, like, they're doing drugs, or they're fornicating, or they're liars, or they're, they're greedy. I, I can see a million ways that people don't want to follow religion. Well, yeah, 
that big basis tends to be that um, you know you tend to judge the whole by an individual. You know, it's the same thing with with uh, Catholicism. It's when a priest is just is uh, when a priest when there's a scandal involving yeah. a priest and what his actions were, the rest of the priests will then in turn receive um, criticism from people believing that all are the same as one person. You know, that person didn't do what he did based upon the religion. He did it because that's what he wanted to do. You can't judge. Uh, you can't judge a belief or an idea upon one person. It's not the. It's not the way that you would see something. It's not the way you should see something. But if I'm correct, mm-hmm. priests uh, they're not allowed to get married, right? Yeah. I think that's a. Uh, I think that's a. Uh, because they follow that because uh, they say that Jesus was never married, and so they have to follow that example. Even though Jesus never said you, sh- you shouldn't get married, that was kind of like their interpretation. Like, oh, uh, well, the idea is not that the priest should uh, should do as Jesus did. It's that um, to become a priest is you have to let go of um, your own desires, right? You have to live like uh, you have to live to, uh, with the purpose in at heart to dedicate yourself to God. It's that you're you're no longer you. It's that you gave up your existence to be to to spread the message of a greater thing. See, I have to disagree with that because prophets who are real messengers, like they are really sent by their Lord, they had wives. See, but I'm not stating that they're prophets. What I mean is that it's, so as, you I, kind of, as, I, as I was trying to say, is they weren't chosen. Mm-hmm. It is a choice you made for yourself. It is as the, uh, it is as the disciples of Jesus had done. Is that, you know, they, they he didn't choose them. They chose to follow him. It's the same thing as the followers of other prophets. Is they made that they didn't tell the people follow me. They said if you wish to follow me, then do so. And that that is the idea. Is like to leave behind what was yours, who you were, and to, and follow the path of something else, to follow someone else. But see, the thing is, is that if a priest would get married, most likely be like kicked out because you can't get married it, this is like a form of a law which is i have issue because you know you, it's, it's creating laws without the law being created from a higher you know it wasn't created by god it wasn't sent by a message it was like okay the messiah didn't have a wife and if i want to be closer to god most of you know our christians or catholics would say closer to jesus i need to not be married follow him exactly which I don't disagree with because you should follow prophets because there's a reason why they're prophets. They're they were the close they're the not the perfect person, but they're the closest thing to what God wants us to be. So that's why, you know, I try to grow my beard even though you know it's a whiskers so a little <laughs> it's not a beard right now. Yeah. At all. I wish one day. Inshallah. But you follow the way of the prophets, but not worship the prophets. So you're like, you know, you live their life best you can so you can be like them so you can be oh shit <laughs> uh, uh, so you can go uh, are you even seeing any weird stuff no may just tap me on the shot no it's cause I I see some stuff that's there for a second then it's not and I'm it's just getting to me uh, it's, it's like a, little stuff moving like in an area like this and then it's gone. It, it, honestly it, it is a road that's uh Especially because you're driving really slow, it's kind of yeah, scary. That's, that's why I took it slow, man. It's, it's a few miles, so I decided to slow it down. Yeah, to get it going. So, but then what I can, what I respect is that Joe, no, you have a different opinion of me, and I have a different opinion of you. Yeah. It doesn't go into you know we argue like oh, I hate you, you're wrong. You know, everyone has everyone everyone has a different opinion. Yeah. But I I would say this: people that uh, like believe in God, I feel. Our, like at least in our culture, it's getting more to the sense like, oh man, really? You know, it's getting like you start believing when you're an adult, not when you're yeah. in your youth. You know? Yeah. But honestly, uh, we should wrap this up and you know, and be safe. 